Question, what are the four main components? We have four main components, activities, services, broadcast receivers, content providers, activities. Activity control the UI and handle user interaction on the screen. Services. Services handle background processes associated with an application. Broadcast receivers. Broadcast receivers handle communication between Android OS and applications. Content providers. Content providers handle data and database management. Question. Differentiate between implicit and explicit intent. Implicit, the intent does not specifically describe the executable application, which describes the action, and provides some data to be able to perform that action. Examples, camera, email, map. Explicit, the intent determines the components that are called from the activity for a clear purpose example, from main activity call sign up activity. Question. Differentiate between services and intent services. Service class uses the application's main thread, while intent service creates a worker thread and uses that thread to run the service. Intent service creates a queue that passes one intent at time to o n h a n d l e i n t e n t. Thus, implementing a multi-thread should be made by extending service class directly. Service class needs a manual stop using stop self. Meanwhile, intent service automatically stops itself when there is no intent in queue. Intent service implements so and bind that returns null. This means that the intent service cannot be bound by default. Intent service implements so and startcommand that sends intent to queue and to onhandleintent. Question. Life cycle love activity. Question. Life cycle love fragment. Question. Differentiate between activity and fragment. Activities are one of the fundamental building blocks of apps on the Android platform. They serve as the entry point for a user's interaction with an app and are also central to how a user navigates within an app or between apps. A fragment represents a behavior or a portion of user interface in an activity. You can combine multiple fragments in a single activity to build a multi-pane UI and reuse a fragment in multiple activities. You can think of a fragment as a modular section of an activity which has its own life cycle, receives its own input events, and which you can add or remove while the activity is running. Lifecycle methods are hosted by us. Lifecycle methods are hosted by hosting activity. Lifecycle of activity, you can see the answer of question 4. Lifecycle of fragment, you can see the answer of question 5. Question. Want to use fragment and give real example? UA fragment is an independent component which can be used by an activity. A fragment encapsulates functionality so that it is easier to reuse within activities and layouts. Fragments make it easy to reuse components in different layouts. You can build single pane layouts for handsets, phones, and multi pane layouts for tablets. This is not limited to tablets. For example, you can use fragments also to support different layout for landscape and portrait orientation on a smartphone. When there is a big screen, you don't want to leave empty space. When the screen is too small, you don't want to squeeze everything. The solution is to have two different layouts reusing as much code as possible. That is when fragments are especially handy. Question. Explain Backstack Fragment Manager. Android OS provide Backstack function for activity. It also provide Backstack function for fragment. If you add one fragment into Backstack, when you press the Android device back menu, you can find the fragment that is saved in Backstack pop-up. Until all saved fragments in Backstack pop-up, then the activity will exit.
Question. Explain DP, DPI, PT, SP and Android. Pixel, PX or sometimes referred to as Bell, derived from picture element is often called a pixel, in square form. Pixels are often used to talk about the resolution of a device. This is a unit of measurement of physical length, just like inches, centimeters, mm, that Google often uses to measure the screen size of the device. This is a unit of measurement of physical length, just like inches, centimeters, mm, that Google often uses to measure the screen size of the device. Same as DP, but SP is usually used for font size of text. Question. When an activity is running, you click the home button, and the activity goes into what state? Tapping the home button, your activity goes to unpause.